Hello, my dear students. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to online English class, lecture nine. What does she look like? In this lecture, we're going to learn how to ask about and describe people's appearance and Identify people by describing how they look and what they're doing. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Part one, word power, physical appearance. Activity A, look at these expressions. What are three more words or expressions to describe people. Write them in the box below. So, let me read these expressions for you. Long brown hair. Short blonde hair. Straight black hair. Curly red hair. Bold, a mustache and a bird, young, middle aged, elderly, handsome, good looking, pretty, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, and very tall. As you see here, I added more expressions to describe people, such as fat, thin, and skinny. Activity uh, B here, so as you see, choose at least four expressions to describe yourself and your partner. Then compare. Do you agree? Okay, you have example A. You have long blonde hair. You are pretty tall. B. I don't think so. My hair isn't very long. Okay, so here you have, uh, of course, uh, four expressions here uh, describing, of course, uh, me. So here you have uh, middle aged, medium height, straight black hair. And straight black hair. My partner, example. So he's middle aged with short blonde hair and he's uh, pretty tall. He's handsome. Now let's move on to part two conversation. She's so pretty. A. Listen and practice. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Justin. Yes, her name's Tiffany. She's really smart and she's so pretty. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About five foot ten, I suppose. Yeah, that is pretty tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful brown hair. And how old is she? I don't know. I think it's a little rude to ask. Okay, now listen to the rest of the conversation. What else do you learn about Tiffany? So, you don't know her age? No, but I don't really care. Okay. Well, how old do you think she is? Who knows? I think she's in her 30s. And how old are you? I'm 29. Oh, cool. So, she's older than you. Okay, let's check the answer now. Uh, according to this conversation, uh, of course, here, uh, Tiffany 
is older than Justin? Because Justin said that he is 29 and she is in her 30s. Here in part 3, we're going to talk about general appearance, height, hair, age, and saying hates. Okay? Listen, please. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with brown hair. She's pretty. Does he wear glasses? No, he wears contacts. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 78. She's 5 foot 10. How tall is he? He's medium height. Hair. How long is her hair? It's pretty short. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Saying heights. U.S. Tiffany is 5'10". Tiffany is 5'10". Tiffany is 5 foot 10 inches. Tiffany is 5 foot 10 inches tall. Tiffany is 5 10. Metric. Tiffany is 1 meter 78 tall. Tiffany is 1 meter 78. Tiffany is 178 centimeters. Activity A, write questions to match these statements, then compare with a partner. So, I read the statements for you. My father is 52. I am 167 centimeter. My cousin has red hair. No, he wears contact lenses. He's tall and very good looking. My sister's hair is medium length. I have dark brown eyes. So please pause the video, take your time and try to do this activity. Have you finished it? Great. Let's check the answers now. Question number one. How old is your father? Question number two. How tall is you? Question number three. What color is your hair? Question number four. Does he wear glasses? Question number five. What does he look like? Question number six. How long is your sister's hair? And question number seven. What color are your eyes? Okay, so here, as you see, in order to describe a person's hair, we say so straight, curly, wavy, and spiky hair when talk now let's have a look at this list of adjectives to describe her we say straight curly wavy spiky 
When talking about length, we say short, shoulder length, long. Colors, we can say blonde, red, dark, brown, and gray. Stylus, you have examples, plate, braid, bang, and fringe. Complexion, dark, fair, taint. Height, tall, short, medium height. Weight, a person can be overweight, fat, chubby, slim, or skinny. When describing people, we ask these questions. Number one, what are they wearing? Example, what is he wearing? He is wearing jeans or he is wearing a suit or he is wearing a shirt. Number two. What are they like? Example A. What is he like? B. He is good looking or he is tall. He is handsome. He isn't very tall or he is short. Number three. How old are they? Example How old is he b he's young he is old he is middle aged he is about 20 number 3 what color example what color are his eyes b they're blue or they're pretty, they're brown, or they're green. We can say, who is smiling? Who is wearing glasses? Who is wearing earrings? Who is wearing a hat? Who isn't smiling? Who is greeting? So here you have these questions. What are these people wearing and what is your style? So let's talk about fashion and appearance. Let's look at some different people here and answer these questions question number one what do they look like question number two what are they wearing question number three what is their style pause the video take your time and try to do this activity have you finished it good let's check the answers Photo number one, what does he look like? What is he wearing and what is his style? As you see, so this boy is wearing a shirt and a baseball cap. He has got a lot of tattoos. Photo number two, what does she look like? What is she wearing and what is her style? So, as you see here, this girl has long black hair. She's wearing a leather jacket, gloves, boots and skinny jeans. Her style is punk rock. 
next photo here so as you see uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is wearing a tracksuit and football boots. He is athletic and has a sporty style. Now let's look at this photo. So this man is wearing a suit, a waistcoat and tie with leather shoes. His dog is wearing a color. Next photo. So, this woman is tall, slim, and blonde. She is wearing a colorful dress and high heels. Her look is chic. Here, so this man is wearing a leather jacket, a blue sweater, and gray trousers. He's smart, uh, casual. Now this woman is got straight brown hair. She's wearing a cardigan, a skirt and tights. So she looks uh, old fashioned. Here you have examples of styles like urban, Smart style, sporty style, or punk rock style. Also, we have casual and hipster styles. Now, as you see here, we have a list of clothing adjectives. Let me explain them. Matching means having the same color, style, or pattern as casual. You have so not formal or not for a formal situation, expensive, costing a lot of money, thick, opposite to thin. Buggy means clothes are big and don't fit tightly on your body. Long sleeve, long part of a piece of clothing that covers all of the arm. Revealing means allow parts of your body to be seen, which are usually kept covered. Fashionable means popular, especially for a short period of time. Second-hand things are not new when you get them. Funky means modern, fashionable, and interesting. Designer, an expensive brand from a well-known person. Bright means colors are strong and easy to see. Formal, clothing such as a tuxedo for men, or a long dress for women that is worn to events. Striped, having lines or bands of color. Dark, similar to black in color. Stylish, beautiful in a fashionable way. Cheap, not all expensive. Tight, clothes that fit very close to your body. Popular, many people like this. And light means clothes are thin and not very warm so please you uh, learn you should learn by heart these adjectives Beautiful. Your sister is very beautiful. Beautiful. Pretty. She's a very pretty girl. 
pretty. Elegant. He looked elegant in a black suit. Elegant. Cute. You have a cute daughter. Cute. Handsome. Leonardo is very handsome. Handsome. Gorgeous. The bride looked gorgeous. Gorgeous. Ugly. I feel really fat and ugly today. Ugly. Attractive. Her husband is really attractive. Attractive. Well built. He's muscular and well built. Well built. Plump. I get picked up by a plump boy. Plump. Thin. The woman was so thin that you could see her bones. Thin. Slim. I wish I was as slim as her. Slim. Fat. She's got fatter as she's got older. Fat. Young. Nadine is the youngest person in the family. Young. Middle-aged. They're a middle-aged couple. Middle-aged. Old. My mother is older than my teacher. Old. Short. He's shorter than his girlfriend. Short. Medium height. She has long hair and medium height. Medium height. Tall. He is the tallest student in class. Tall. Round. You have a round face. Round. Oval. She has an oval face and blue eyes. Oval.
Square. If you have a square face, consider yourself lucky. Square. Long. He loves his long face. Long. Long. Straight. She had long straight hair when she was young. Long. Straight. Short. Curly. She has short curly hair. Short. Curly. Wavy. She has beautiful wavy hair. Wavy. Bald. At 50 he was already going bald. Bald. Blue. I met a boy with blue eyes yesterday. Blue. Brown. She looked at him, big brown eyes, incredibly sad. Brown. Small. My friend has very small eyes. Small. Big round. She is a tall girl with long brown hair and big round eyes. Big round. Oval. He could see the disappointment in her oval eyes. Oval. Wear glasses. I love his wear glasses eyes. Wear glasses. Small. My younger sister has a small nose and long hair. Small. Straight. She has a beautiful straight nose. Straight. Hooked. She's got a really hooked nose. Hooked. Bulbous. I hate my large and round bulbous nose. Bulbous. Turned up. He has a turned up nose. Turned up. Small. He loves her small mouth. Small. Large. And Hathaway has a beautiful large mouth. 
large. Small. This pretty girl has small ears. Small. Large. Her son has large ears. Large. Full. Angelina Jolie has blue eyes and full lips. Full. Curved. Nathan opened the door with a smile on his curved lips. Curved. Thin. I really love my thin lips. Thin. Speak English like a native speaker. Welcome to English Free Channel, www.4uenglishfree.com. Here, as you see, in part four, we have listening. Which one is Justin? Activity A. Listen to descriptions of six people and number them from one to six. One. I think Chris is good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and he has a beard. I think he's about 30. Two. Courtney's 18. She has blonde hair, shoulder length and straight, and she always wears interesting hats, just for fun. 3. Victoria is pretty tall for her age. She has curly red hair and always wears a baseball cap. She just turned 10. 4. Justin's in his 20s. He's fairly short and wears glasses. His hair isn't very long. 
five. Mark is middle-aged. He's going bald and has a mustache. He likes to wear sunglasses. And he always wears a leather jacket. Six. Hannah is very tall and she has long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. I don't think she wears glasses, but I'm not sure. Okay. Are you ready? Good. Let's check the answers now. So here you have the numbers. Four, one, six, two, five, and three. Now let's move on to part six, writing, describing physical appearance. Okay, so let's describe celebrities now. As you see here, you have examples of famous persons with descriptions. Okay, so here, as you see, we have Justin Bieber from Canada, age 29. He's a singer, songwriter, musician, actor, composer, and dancer. Build, athletic, height, 1 meter 75 centimeter, weight 66 kilogram. Hair color, light brown, and eye color, light brown. Michael Jordan from America. He's 60 years old, build athletic, height 1 meter 98 centimeter, weight 101 kilo, race black hair color bold and eye color dark brown brad pitt from america age 59 build average height 180 centimeter weight 78 kilogram hair color blonde eye color blue well built strong and bold blue eyes square jaw next so oprah winfrey from united states of america she's 69 years old build Average height, so 169 centimeter, weight 170 pounds. Race, black, hair color, dark brown, eye color, dark brown. Now let's move on to part seven, snapshot. So here in this part, we're going to talk about fashion so here as you see we have an article about new york street fashion so let's read it as you see here we have different clothing styles example number one so you have boho the boho girl wears comfortable clothes long skirts and flowy dresses in Colorful floral prints. Number two, classic prep. So the preppy guy wears shirts and sweaters in pastel colors, khaki pants, and leather belts. Esther, so the heister wears hip hats, jewelry, and large glasses. Black is popular color. The men often have unique hairstyles and long birds 
Streetwear. So the streetwear fan wears casual and trendy clothes, jeans, basketball, jerseys, baseball caps, t-shirts with logos and cool sneakers. Here my uh, favorite style is boho because I like wearing comfortable clothes in my city so people like wearing streetwear and also they like classic prep style here as you see we have different clothing styles let me explain them okay here number one as you see you have classy so your style is elegant and with clean simple lines softly tailored not usually mix and match never trendy faddish or severe textures such as silk soft woolen fabrics cotton are among your favorites next as you see here you have funky rock so this look is edgy a fashion style expressed by bold hair styles and colors accessories black leather jackets and shirts with funky designs in style now so the easiest way to wear the look is a print if prints aren't your thing then you can still indulge in the ethnic or tribal fashion trend by way of accessories girly glam so your outfits hug your body tightly and are full of pink loud and sparky accessories high stylets and platforms it's a style that exposes some of your body and brings out a flirty feminine and sexy look boho chic this style is inspired with earthy tones loose fitting clothes and combining certain looks to appeal to an electric vibe this trend is a mix of luxurious textures and contrasting fabrics big purses casual long necklaces now let's talk about the trendy style so you love the big city and adore your uniform of all black with silhouettes boots pumps or sandals you love to dress be in all the latest trends you know which pieces make the whole look appear expensive girly style so polo shirts or oxford shirts dresses and t-shirts all either in pastel or bright colors jeans khaki slacks or shorts Oxford shoes, tennis shoes, ballet flats make the look. Casual, so a cute sweet suit is your go-to outfit. If an evening activity is on the agenda, a quick change to slacks or jeans and a sweater or a nice t-shirt does the trick. Your color? so navy gray and black punk so a lot of punk clothing has dye do it yourself look to it flight jackets skinny jeans leather studs are the things to wear together with classic accessories like arm warmers ballet belts and wristbands with pyramid studs stars are or spikes mod so dresses and skirts are 
A line and either mid fig length or just below to knee. Go for crazy patterns or strips with lines that pop typical colors and white and black, but you can incorporate others. Most shoes are chunky knee or ankle high boots. So these are some examples of different clothing style. Part 8. Conversation. Which one is she? Activity A. Listen and practice. Diego, good to see you. Is Cora here too? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alana. Oh, let's go talk to my friend Paula. She doesn't know anyone here. Paula? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing a long skirt over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans and a scarf. She's standing near the window. Okay, I'd like to meet her. Now listen to the rest of the conversation. Label Liam, Haina, Sierra, and Matt in the picture. Let's see, who else is here? Do you know Liam? He's really nice. No, I don't. Which one is he? He's over there. He's the one wearing gray pants, a white shirt, and... And a light blue sweater? That's right. And then there's Hina Sasaki. She works with me at the office. Oh? Which one is Hina? She's the woman in a long dress. She's wearing glasses. Yeah, I see her. She's the one talking to Liam, right? Yep. And who are those two people dancing? Oh, that's my best friend. Her name is Sierra. She's really nice. That's a pretty red dress. And who's that guy dancing with her? That's Matt Seagal, her new boyfriend. Oh, that's her boyfriend? Yeah. Hey, didn't you want to meet Paula? Sorry, but which one is Paula again? <laughs> Hi, my name is Laura and I am 15 years old. I am an optimistic and energetic person. I have many great friends. I like dancing, reading books, playing volleyball, and cooking in my spare time. I have long, curly blonde hair and blue eyes. I am tall and slim. My favorite color is red. That's why I love wearing red clothes. What is she like? She is cheerful and fun to be with. What does she look like? She's brunette, she has a ponytail and blue eyes. She is very pretty. How old is she? She is six years old. What is she wearing? She is wearing a t-shirt, a red skirt and red shoes. Hello! Dinner is here! Cheer up! Stop being sad, young man! What is she like? She is optimistic, nice and patient. What does she look like? She has black eyes. She is pretty, tall, and rather plump. She wears her hair in a bun. She also wears glasses. How old is she? She is in her mid-40s. What is she wearing? She is wearing a blue uniform. What is he like? He is confident and positive. What does he look like? He has dark short hair, black eyes and a big smile. He is handsome and muscular. How old is he? He is around 30 years old. What is he wearing? He is wearing a gym suit. What is he like? He is mean to other kids. 
What does he look like? He has short brown hair and green eyes. How old is he? He's seven years old. What is he wearing? He is wearing a blue polo shirt, black trousers, and white sneakers. What does he like? He is passionate about music. What does he look like? He has medium length blonde hair and black eyes. How old is he? He is around 20 years old. What is he wearing? He is wearing an elegant black suit, black shoes and a red bow tie. What is she like? She's nice and friendly. What does she look like? She is beautiful. She has long, wavy red hair and blue eyes. She is slim and tall. How old is she? She is around 18 years old. What is she wearing? She is wearing a short black dress and black shoes. What is he like? He is intelligent and self-confident. What does he look like? He is bald. He has a black beard and a mustache. He is thin and tall and he has green eyes. How old is he? He is in his mid-40s. What is he wearing? He is wearing a blue shirt and grey trousers. What is he like? He is messy and bad-tempered. What does he look like? He has black, curly hair and small black eyes. He is short and average weight. How old is he? He is around 15 years old. What is he wearing? He is wearing a red pullover, blue jeans and blue shoes. What is he like? He is honest and hardworking. What does he look like? He has gray hair and brown eyes. He is tall and plump. How old is he? He is middle-aged. What is he wearing? He is wearing an orange t-shirt, blue overalls and black boots. What is she like? She's rude and disobedient. What does she look like? She's cute. She has long, straight, blonde hair and black eyes. How old is she? She is 8 years old. What is she wearing? She is wearing a short pink dress, purple socks and white shoes. What is he like? He is very shy. What does he look like? He has short black hair and black eyes. He is medium height and thin. How old is he? He's kind of young. What is he wearing? He is wearing a check shirt, brown trousers and black shoes. What is he like? He is nice and energetic. What does he look like? He has gray hair, blue eyes and a mustache. He is short and plump. How old is he? He is elderly. What is he wearing? He is wearing a green tracksuit and black shoes. Now in part 9, we're going to talk about modifiers with present, participles and prepositions. Listen please. Participles. Who's Diego? He's the man wearing a blue shirt. Which one is Diego? He's the one talking to Brooke. Prepositions. Who's Brooke? She's the woman with long black hair. Which one is Paula? She's the tall one in jeans. Who are the Harrisons? They're the people next to the window. Which ones are the Harrisons? They're the ones on the couch. Okay, so activity A, 
rewrite these statements using modifiers with participles or prepositions. So pause the video, take your time and try to do it. Are you ready? Okay, so let's discuss the answers now. Example number one. So Kylie is the tall guy wearing a yellow shirt and brown pants. Example number two. Mark and Eve are the middle age couple. They're the ones talking to Michael. Example number three, Alexis is the young girl wearing a white t-shirt and blue jeans. Example number four, Brittany is the woman in the green dress seated to the left of Javier. And example number five, so GP is the serious boy playing a video game. Page 62. Exercise 10. Pronunciation. Contrastive stress in responses. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. Is Rob the one wearing the red shirt? No. He's the one wearing the black shirt. Is Rachel the woman on the couch? No, Jen is the woman on the couch. Exercise 10, Part B. Mark the stress changes in these conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations. Is Sophie the one sitting next to Judy? No, she's the one standing next to Judy. Is David the one on the couch? No, he's the one behind the couch. Part 11, reading. Activity A, match the descriptions with the pictures. Write the letter. So the picture is out of this word. Letter B. Words best selfie. My life is fashion. Letter D. The daily selfie. An old idea means that meets the 21st century. So, letter A, the birth of the selfie. The real me or the perfect me. So, letter C, the psychology of selfies. Now, let's move on to activity B. Read the blog. Match each question with the correct answer. Now, pause the video and try to do this activity. Are you ready? Okay, good. Let's check the answers now. Question number one. So, what is Poppy Densei famous for? Answer E. She is a fashion blog. Question number two. So, where did Aiki take a selfie? The right answer is A, at the International Space Station. Question number three. Who says selfie are a way of understanding ourselves? Answer D, psychologists. Question number four. Who took the first selfie? Answer F, a man from Philadelphia. Question number five. 
Where do many people post selfies? Answer C. On social media. And question number six. What is Hose Hyde's job? Answer B. He is an astronaut. Okay. As you see here in activity C, you have a pair of work. What do you think of selfies? When and where do you take selfies? And what is the main reason you take selfies? As you know, a selfie is a photograph that one has taken of oneself. Typically, one taken with a smartphone or webcam and uploaded to a social media website. At the core, we take pictures of ourselves and post them online for other people to see, like, and comment on. I think there are few things fueling our desire to post selfies, such as, number one, we want to be loved. So when we post a selfie for the world to see, we eagerly await for the likes and comments to show up from friends and strangers. Sometimes immediately after posting, we stick around for a few minutes and rapidly refresh the page to see how quickly they start rolling in. Why? Because these likes and comments make us feel loved. Number two, we want to be accepted. So those same likes and comments also make us feel accepted. I posted a picture of my face and 24 people liked it. Oh, maybe they think I'm cool, good looking, fun, or maybe they want to date me. These are the types of things that go through our minds. Maybe we just want to know that someone else cares about us, that they see us, or that we matter. Three, we want to matter. We constantly see our friends posting selfies of themselves while on vacation, hanging out with friends, doing fun activities, and so on. When we see this, we subconsciously think, whoa, that person has an exciting life and does all sorts of cool things. It makes us want to post selfies showing the world that we too happen to be cool, fun people. We want to matter, we want people to think highly of us, to be honest, we care what people think about us.
My dear students, this is the end of today's lecture. Thank you so much for your attention and see you next time. Goodbye.